In this video, I'm taking you with me for an Ayurvedic retreat, indulging in some therapies, enjoying some delicious food, and of course, living in this place which is so beautifully green. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I am in Alapuza in Kerala. I'm back here to one of my favorite states in India and this time I'm going to be staying at Krishnendu Ayurveda. This is an Ayurveda hospital since 1908 and I'm really looking forward to experiencing the treatments, the food and the stay here. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Any kind of Ayurvedic treatment or stay or therapy will always start with a consultation with the resident doctors. Now that I'm done with my counselling and everything, I know exactly the treatments that I'm going to get done. This here on display is all of the creams, lotions, treatment oils and what is interesting is that they are actually made right here. They have a factory in-house for producing all of the stuff that is used and needed for the therapies. There are different kinds of rooms here, individual rooms cottages with a view so this is the floor where they have the individual rooms but what i find breathtaking is the view from here and the thatched roofs the greenery i think it's really pretty one walk here and i'm just reminded how beautifully green kerala is this is already so soothing to the eyes i really need to show you guys my room I really like what I see. I think I'm amazed at the amount of space in this room. That is not the only thing that I'm excited about. What is stunning is the view. Honestly, this is feeling like I'm sitting in the pool. This level of pool view, I've never had before. Let me quickly show you the rest of the room. So this here is like a dressing table come a work desk. There are two beds here, such a massive TV here, some space to keep stuff and here is like a little pantry area. So there's also a sink, then there are cupboards and they tell me there are like treatment powders and stuff in these cupboards, cups, mini fridge. So there's this window near the sink where you can actually see outside and this is the wardrobe and here we have the bathroom. You can see the leaves from like this glass and uh, there's daylight falling from here. Here we have the sink area. So you literally walk into this. This feels wow. This is the amazing pool area and what I love is the amount of greenery around it. Just the colors blue and green can be so soothing that there is actually the sit out of my room it's looking so cozy i think it's the perfect spot to enjoy coffee just some chill time or even a massage maybe now i'm just about to go in for my first treatment here the first thing that i'm going to be doing is abhyanga and what i love is that the therapy actually starts by lighting a lamp and saying a prayer asking for healing Abhyanga is an Ayurvedic full body massage. It is a very rigorous massage. Warm oil that's infused with herbs is rubbed deeply into the skin and it involves a malish literally. Initially, it may not feel like a relaxing massage in the quintessential meaning of the term. But what follows is a lot of relieving from aches, stress, joint pain, everything. The oil that they use is made in-house. It felt warm initially, but later, after a few minutes, it had like a slightly cooling, tingling effect, but I particularly enjoyed it. The next thing is the potli therapy. The potli is a cotton or a muslin cloth, and it is filled with powdered herbs. Inside the potlis, here they're actually just assembling them. This is called as dhani keri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or no, but essentially it is powdered medicated seeds and a compress of these seeds is what's applied to the body for relaxation, healing. Once this powder is inside, then the potli is very neatly assembled. 
dipped in warm oil and this compress is placed throughout the body i can't tell you guys how relaxing this feels on certain parts the back especially the neck area soles of the feet this is what bliss feels like i think this was easily one of the most relaxing portly treatments i have ever had just the way they did it and they just got the temperature right like there was no moment where i felt like i was getting a chatka or it was like too hot it was just perfect and the treatment that followed after this is called takradhara similar to shirodhara where they actually pour warm oil or ghee on the forehead here they actually pour buttermilk buttermilk is cooling initially i was a little bit apprehensive about you know the smell because it may not be the most uh, pleasant when i got past the smell i felt like this is the most relaxed i've been in a very very long time just that stream falling on your forehead constantly in a very gentle way it doesn't feel too heavy of flow it doesn't feel too slow of flow it can be so calm and using i think there was a point where i probably passed out <laughs> during this therapy but um, sooner or later the smell of buttermilk does catch up but as i told you the relaxation part is way more enjoyable than that smell this was followed by a shower i felt like that was the toughest shower of my life getting that buttermilk out of my hair i don't think it's still out in fact like this entire area around me i feel like it's still smelling of buttermilk but i have to say my hair is feeling like so full bodied they actually put this powder on my scalp this is known as kachuradi churan i have no clue if i'm pronouncing it right but they said this is to like uh, ensure that my scalp doesn't get too cold because of the buttermilk and i feel like it's already showing on my skin as well i am a little bit sleepy because i'm way too relaxed right now but there is that uh, glow you know that inner natural wala glow now they told me i have to eat lunch and chill for an hour so let's go and uh, see what's there for lunch i really wanted to experience a nice home style thali that's what i'm having here so I have so much variety and I also have this really really delicious looking salad because they said after all of those therapies I do need a good salad. One thing that I want to show you is the water here. This is uh, a pink shaded water. It has a mild flavor. I'm pretty sure it's some herb and it's working like wonders for my system. We'll start with the salad. The salad actually has so many things. There's beetroot, capsicum, pomegranate, corn, and of course a ton of cucumber on the side. It's definitely got a light dressing, which is a little bit on the sweeter side. And even a lot of the stuff here itself is sweet. So the beetroot is boiled. That has its sweet flavor. Corn does. And I think the real twist in the flavor is the olives on top. There are like so many. Let's look at what all we have in. the thali we have papad which is actually gone soggy because it was on top of the rice but it's okay rice some sort of a pickle beetroot pachadi this is bitter gourd karela and this is tindli maybe this is rasam maybe this is sambar and this seems like buttermilk hmm that is buttermilk this is rasam oh yes that fiery flavor and that sourness from tamarind amazing please don't come at me for not eating with my hand i'm also filming at the same time so i need both my hands to be clean and available just one of the best indian sabzis i've had it's tempered with onion curry leaves and powdered spices and uh, it's just got such a lovely flavor i feel like the onion has been nicely sauteed because it's giving like that hint of sweetness but the tindli itself is still uh, got that crunch this is uh, bitter gourd i think karela mm it is this beetroot pachdi actually also has a little bit of uh, coconut in it coconut yogurt and beetroot and it's tempered with mustard seeds and curry leaves and the flavor is just so mind blowing i requested them to get me fresh papad and they did and i feel like tears of joy are going to happen Mm. Rasam some rice, a little bit of pickle and papad. It doesn't get better than this. Even the sambar rice is tasting good actually. 
I think the lunch view that I have right now is so beautiful. Just look at the greenery outside. There's so many of these chickens. A little bit of breeze. I've just entered the manufacturing unit and here is where they make their tablets, pills, lotions, creams and so on. And behind me is such a giant pot. I mean, I'm not able to show you guys in a single frame just how big it is. But that they tell me is about six to eight ingredients which have been powdered and then they are being heated and stirred to make into a pill, a tablet. So here we actually have an oil being prepared. This is the one that they'll probably use for some body treatment or therapy and you can see it bubbling. This is like a giant boiler or a giant pressure cooker. It's for preparing something called as kashayam. This is the unit where the packaging, labeling happens. This is where the final product is finished. It's actually a lab area. Everything that's made here comes here for testing, QC. Only once it's approved by the resident chemist and the concerned medical authorities, that is when it is actually administered to patients. Good thing is that you get them on their website and they ship all through India and even worldwide. So I'm going to leave like the relevant links and stuff in the description box below. Along with treatments for body and general well-being, they also have treatments for face and hair. And I'm going to be trying their facial treatment next. First, I'm going to be using this face wash. And after washing my face really nice and clean, we're going to be moving on to steaming. You can enjoy the therapy in a designated therapy room or in the comfort of your own room and I decided to take it in my room. After giving my face a good steam, the next step is scrub. And here basically the therapist has made me lie down on my bed. It's actually using something that is feeling grainy enough to remove all of the dead skin, blackheads and whiteheads, but not too harsh. And this is followed by a mud pack, which takes quite a while to dry. But the good thing is that it gives you that cooling feeling all throughout. Once the pack is dried, it is then wiped off and here comes the fun part, the massage. Very rich facial cream is used to massage into the skin. And this is really good for dry skin, which ends up happening really often after using a mud pack. And this is like a very relaxing massage for the skin, yet it works to tighten the facial skin and give it that fresh, glowy feel. Next is a hair treatment and the perks of enjoying it from your own cottage or from your own room are that you can actually sit by the pool, on a chair and enjoy the view and this treatment together. First we're starting with a comb and we're using the tail end of it and really scrubbing off the scalp. So it's not a very harsh scrub, more like a rub and uh, this helps to loosen out any tandra flakiness on the scalp and then we're using a scalp cream. This helps with any kind of scalp itchiness dryness, sensitivity. The cream is massaged very well into the scalp and again this feels like a very very relaxing massage. Next is actually a mask. So essentially a herbal powder is mixed with milk and honey. Yes, that's what's going to be going into my hair right now. Milk and honey both are excellent ingredients for hair and scalp. And this mask is mainly concentrated on the scalp area. So right now we're just like covering the whole entire scalp with it. Once this pack is on, it has to be left on for one hour and then you can wash it off. This almost feels like a lape on the hair, you know, those uh, homemade packs that our grandmothers would use. So it kind of felt like that. Already I can feel the slight cooling effect that it's having on my scalp. ABC, apple beetroot and carrot juice after what felt like an afternoon to evening filled with relaxing therapies. For dinner, I indulge in a very simple and soulful meal of dal, rice and a mixed veg gravy. This was the perfect way to end this super blissful day. Good morning you guys. So my day has started so beautifully waking up to these gorgeous greens all around me. I'm like, wow. And they actually have yoga class every day from 6.30 to 7.30. There's a yoga teacher that comes and doing yoga in this beautiful surrounding, it just adds to the whole relaxing feel here. After that, I've just been walking around, around the pool. There's just so much greenery. It feels so good to walk bare feet here. It's a practice called grounding and I swear by it and I really recommend it to you guys. And this is what my hair is looking like after yesterday's treatment. It is feeling super, super soft. I haven't really done anything to it, like set it or something. It was just in a braid when I slept. And uh, now I have these like beautiful 
frizz free curls in spite of the humidity i feel like they're not becoming that frizzy the next thing for today is a treatment called nasya this is the first time i'm doing this treatment i have read about it i'm a little bit nervous but let's just go and see how it's done so first thing they started with a face massage this part of the treatment feels extremely relaxing we move on to taking steam and uh, this is essentially to open up any kind of uh, mucus build up then uh, they basically put four drops of oil into each nostril and they tell you to breathe accordingly and this is the point where the treatment starts to get a little bit like uh, icky because the oil is going down your system the next step is they have these powdered sticks which are lit up with fire on one end and you're basically made to inhale that smoke and uh, breathe out accordingly that is supposed to be very very therapeutic it has a lot of benefits i did get like a little bit of a gag reflex in between but uh, nothing too much it was absolutely bearable and now for half an hour i cannot be in the ac i cannot be under direct fan no washing my hair today and uh, no water or food for about half an hour so i think i'm going to be chilling for some time and seeing you guys for breakfast i feel like after the nasya treatment any kind of congestion that i had is gone and uh, i'm feeling much more fresh and awake right now now i've come here to uttupura for breakfast and today they actually have banana and upma yesterday i didn't show you guys the breakfast but there was actually soft soft dosas and a fruit platter The upma is feeling a little bit dry for my liking, but I love the tempering that they have going on inside. Chana dal, mustard seeds, little bits of chilies. Their restaurant setup is actually pretty cute. It's called Uttupura. I think I said this earlier, and there's a lot of like uh, openness around it, so it's not like completely brick walled and stuff. The sides are open. Behind me, you can see the gorgeous green view. There is this little kitchen which you can actually partially see while you're seated in the restaurant. They have like a fresh menu every day, so four or five different dishes are available for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And if you have a special diet requirement which has been prescribed to you over here by the doctor or something, then they'll take care of that as well. Everybody doesn't have dietary constraints, so they also do a few different dishes like uh, noodles, rice. Manchurian, and I did try the Manchurian and fried rice one day, and it's a very home style uh, Chinese flavor. So not too many, you know, artificial sauces and stuff. Not too spicy. Lots of vegetables. So they kind of make it in a way in which you're not like completely cheating when you're eating that. You guys are never going to believe that I have been ditching my chai and having some coffee here. and that's because they do their coffee so very well so i don't know at what point during so many of my travels i ended up hurting my ankle somewhere i'm actually trying the ultrasound therapy right now so first they start with this like very very cool feeling gel and they've been rubbing that gel on that part which has been it's swollen and a little bit bruised now it's beginning to feel slightly warm uh, it will reduce your pain inflammation and um some scar tissues everything so this is dr adarsh here who's helping me with the ultrasound treatment hi to 7 days uh, your pain will reduce and you can walk normally this is the first time i'm actually seeing a uh, liposuction room liposuction is not just for cosmetic procedures it's a very important uh, aspect of treating obesity we'll do some uh, modalities like vacuum therapy that's for suctioning our tummy or any other area arms thighs everything they will put on some electrodes applying the gel then rub it both electrodes mm. then we will put on the tummy body. yeah okay just like a vibration ma'am increase our body metabolism and reduce our tummy size and weight also and they have one hour exercise program also that's a uh, walking swimming rowing cycling uh, spinning bike After this therapy, you exercise for one hour is compulsory. Yeah, compulsory, ma'am. It's time for another Ayurvedic therapy. This is milk for a milk bath, also known as Shiradhara. But before that, there's going to be Udvartana, which is a dry powder massage. The powder is a mix of herbs that help remove toxins, improve circulation, and also help in getting rid of excess fat. 
The massage technique uses upward strokes and with the friction from the powder, it's not the most relaxing therapy but has great benefits including removal of tan. It's a granular powder so it does feel a little bit rough on the skin but what followed after that was I think half an hour of sheer bliss. There's something about a constant stream of any kind of liquid whether it was buttermilk yesterday, whether it was milk today or even just warm oil. There's something about that flowing on the skin. I just feel like it has the most therapeutic effect and after that this is the first time I've gone and sat inside that steam box. I've always wanted to do that because I feel like I don't know it's just one of those experiences that I've wanted to have and it's happened here and I'm so glad. I am kind of hungry now so we are going to be going and grabbing lunch but this has been life changing. I do look a little bit tired but I feel like that's because all of the stress, the tension, all of that is out of my body. For lunch today I decided to try something different, ragi dosa. Mm. I'm eating it with like these two side dish things. One is a mixed vegetable dish, potato, I think it's also got bottle gourd, a bit of carrot and some chilies. It's kind of mashed, it's nice and soft, very very flavorful. It's tempered with cumin seeds. And then I have another similar thing with cabbage. It's like a dry cabbage sabzi and this one is a little bit on the spicier side. It's got more chilies. What I find is that the food here is not very high on spices like uh, powdered spices, especially red chilli powder. Couldn't find much of it in any of the meals that I had. But still, that lingering flavour, slight hotness from green chilli and all is very much there. Because it's a super hot and humid day, I'm also sipping on some watermelon juice on the side. Normally, I don't really mix fruits and fruit juices with a meal, but uh, I just kind of need it today. I just realized that that mixed sabzi with the potato actually even had drumstick in it. And somehow the flavor was not apparent or maybe I just missed it. One thing that I need to give a mention to is the staff at the kitchen. There are these ladies who provide all the meals and uh, I just feel like they are serving with like such grace. They're just smiling all the time and they're more than accommodating to any special requests especially mine when i ask them for papad repeatedly <laughs> i don't know what is it with the papad here it is so tasty mm. it's so thin so crispy but the minute it hits like your tongue and your mouth it kind of like just becomes so soft jackfruits there. A therapy that has stood the test of time for treating chronic knee pain, inflammation, muscle tenderness and any joint issue is Janovasti. A well-like cast is made with urad or wheat flour on the back of the knees and then this is filled with warm oil or ghee. Here they are using oil and the temperature feels warm initially but the body adjusts to it in no time. And this oil is retained for a few minutes when it works its magic. It soothes the nerves and lubricates the area, thereby reducing stiffness and boosts blood circulation too. This ended up taking about 45 minutes and the next and the last therapy of my stay here is Netra Tarpan. A similar cast made of flour is put around the eyes and warm ghee is dropped in it. The ghee is warm enough to soothe the eyes and this treatment takes some getting used to because at some point the ghee does get into the eye and one has to blink, open and close the eyelid as per instruction. The treatment immediately relieves tired eyes. It's excellent for anyone suffering from dry eyes. It reduces dark circles and also strengthens the nerves and muscles around the eyes. After about 20 minutes, they wiped off the ghee and cleaned the whole eye area and guided me through some assisted breathing techniques. And then I indulged in this delicious dinner in my room, a lemon coriander soup, a vegetable sandwich with cheese and also home style tomato sauce. This is what my morning began with, a plate of assorted fruits. So last night after the Netra Tarpan treatment, I avoided any kind of screen time, any kind of cell phone usage and which is why I couldn't really speak to you guys. But 
I feel like my eyes feel super duper refreshed and not just the eyes I think it does something magical to the skin because I've seen after every time I get that treatment done my skin glows so I just thought I'll tell you guys and uh, show you guys my face after the treatment this is me in the morning I'm feeling so refreshed and I can't believe it's time for me to actually check out from here my car is waiting behind and uh, I have to go but I have to say I've had the most relaxing two days here so many treatments I got to try and uh, I indulged in so much amazing food. So I'd like to thank the team at Krishnendu Ayurveda for hosting me and for letting me film and share this video with you guys. And I know you guys enjoy watching this kind of content which is more wellness oriented. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more such videos. And I'm going to leave all of the details in the description box below. Uh, if you have any inquiry about their charges or packages, then you check out their website or give them a call because every program is differently tailored for the kind of treatment that you're looking at, which is why the charges will differ. And uh, yeah, that is really it from me in this video. Don't forget to give it a big like and share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.